The extended rendering output options in Unreal Engine 4.22 have been enhanced in several ways, providing you with new workflows, productivity gains, and better performance. Composure, Unreal Engine's built-in compositing module, now offers a user interface that lets you easily organize objects into separate render layers, similar to a traditional offline rendering workflow. You can render out individual elements or groups of elements and generate mats and AOVs to easily isolate specific parts of the scene. After the layers are set up, you can easily composite them in Unreal, or they can be rendered out using Sequencer to be used as elements in an offline compositing package such as Nuke, After Effects, or even Photoshop. The Unreal Engine 4.22 release adds new features that make the in-display, multi-display rendering system more flexible. It's now possible to render different viewports to multiple displays from a single instance of Unreal Engine. This allows you to create immersive environments more efficiently, decreasing the load on memory and on the CPU. In some cases, removing the requirement of multiple PCs in order to maintain the required performance levels. A new JSON-based protocol enables communication within the cluster. Commands can be sent from any node or even from an external application. Unreal Engine now supports holographic remoting through the Windows Mixed Reality plugin enabling you to run Unreal Engine on a Windows desktop PC and stream the results to a HoloLens over a Wi-Fi connection in real time. This makes it easy to rapidly test, iterate, and experiment while developing HoloLens applications. With the improvements to the extended rendering output options in Unreal Engine 4.22, it's now easier than ever to create amazing content and experiences. Mm -hmm.